Hey guys, welcome to the video and to the channel. For those who are new, this is going to be my latest Switch tutorial video. I know I haven't done one of these in a little while. I have a long list of Switch tutorial videos that I'm trying to get to, just been a little bit busy. Now, before we continue, I wanna kinda of clear up who this video is for, so that way there's no confusion and you know if it's something that pertains to you. First, if you have a modded switch and you use Atmosphere and you use Hecate in some way, shape or form, whether it's Hecate by itself or whether it's part of an AIO type package deal like Cosmos or Deep Sea or something like that, and you've updated your SIG patches, you updated your firmware, you updated Atmosphere, and you cannot install any backed up files, whether they're XCI format, NSP format, whether it's a game, update, DLC, whatever, you've tried a bunch of different backups and nothing installs using Tinwu installer, Awu installer, GoLeaf, it doesn't matter, then this video is more than likely for you and hopefully it will solve your issue. So when you try and install one of these backed up files, if you're getting an NCA error message, similar to some of the examples I'm putting up on the screen, then yeah, this is more than likely for you. It'll hopefully help you out, especially if you use Hecate and especially if it's happening with pretty much every single backed up file that you're trying to install. Now, if you don't use Hecate, this video probably is not going to benefit you at all. The other thing is that if you are successful in installing some backed up files, maybe you try three, four, five of them and they work, but now you come across one that doesn't, there's probably an issue with that specific file and maybe this may not work for you. Again, this is only for people that use Hecate and seem to be experiencing these NCA errors with pretty much everything that you're trying to install. Before we continue, make sure that your firmware is updated. It's also strongly advised that you update to the latest atmosphere. Make sure your SIG patches are updated. I actually did a video showing you how to do pretty much all of that directly from your Switch. And this is not a jailbreak tutorial, so I will not be showing you how to mod a Switch. And it's automatically already assumed that you know your way around your modded system and that you know how to get files in and out of your SD card. The only thing that you need is a text editor or some type of notepad program. So technically you could do this on your phone, on your PC. Maybe there's a text homebrew editor for the switch already that exists. I'm not sure, but however you get it done, it's very simple. We just need to edit a .ini file. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so go ahead and access the SD card of your switch by whatever method that you use. We need to get to the bootloader folder go in there, and then you should have a file called Hecate underscore IPL dot ini. This is the one that we need to edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that out here for a minute. Let's go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to use Notepad++. Again, you can use any text editor or Notepad program you want. Let's go ahead and open it up. We are going to be adding just one line of script. It's going to be the same line, but we're going to put it in a couple different places. And this is what it is. It's the kip one patch equals no sig chk, meaning no sig check. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this. I'll put it down in the description, or you can just type it in either one. Let's hit copy. You're going to go first here to the CFW SysNAN section and then look for this uh, Fusey secondary bin script. And then at the end of it, put the cursor, hit enter, and then just paste that line right there. Or you can just type it in. And then you're going to do the same thing for the CFW EMU MMC section. Just go here where it says Fusey secondary bin. Go right to the end of it hit enter, and again, just paste that line right there. There we go. So it should look exactly like this. When you're done, then go ahead and hit save. Now this Hecate file might be a little bit different than the one you have because they differ a little bit depending which AIO that you use or if you just use Hecate by itself, but these two sections should pretty much look similar. And that's where you would put it. Now let's go ahead and let's save it. Once it's saved, we can close out. And now we're just gonna put it right back where we got it from. So go back into that bootloader folder, go ahead and put the file back in there by however method that you do that, either via FTP or whatever. And then once it's there, what you need to do is do a full reboot of your switch. 
And that's it. Once you do a full reboot, make sure that you reboot back into Hecate from Hecate, either launch atmosphere via Sysnand or via Emu MMC, however you normally do it. And then once you're back in atmosphere, come back here to the homebrew menu and use whatever installer you want, like GoLeaf, Timu installer, Awu installer or whatever, in order to install those backed up files. And now they should install without any issue at least hopefully. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and if you found this helpful, useful, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation towards the channel, the best way to do any of that stuff, as always, is just to hit that like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to everyone out there. Be careful, be safe, but make sure you have fun, and I will catch you on the next one.